Welcome to this GoDot tutorial. I am going to show you how to make a very nice little main menu that you can hit escape during your game at any time and bring it up. I'm going to use my random 3D generation tutorial to make this. And that's what it does right now. I have no controls to interact with it. Can't exit game. I have to close it out. So we're going to make a really nice main menu. I'm going to add a 9 9 patch rect. I'm going to move that up to underneath the control. I'm going to hit layout, go full rect. And on texture, I want a gradient texture. I'm going to leave it black, but you can do some pretty neat stuff with the gradient temp texture. I am just going to leave it black. On top of that, I want a center container. And on top of that, I want buttons. On that center container, I'm also going to spread the layout full rect. And that puts our button right in the middle. So with the button in place, we're going to do a a little bit of decorating. I want to bring in. I'm gonna make a new folder and call it fonts. And in that, I'm gonna drop this black chancellery. It's a free font, free available for commercial use. Also, just so you know. Close that. And on that button, on theme, I think that's the one I want. No, nope. fonts. Makes sense, doesn't it? New dynamic font. Font. Chancellery. Sweet. And on... Oh, you know what? I forgot. On that center container, we're going to add another child node. VBox container. Drop that button down in that VBox container. Now we'll continue on. On that VBox container, on custom constants, I'm going to give a little extra separation. Because we're going to have more buttons. Right now, we're just doing this. on custom styles that's what I want on pressed new style box flat let's put a little color into that make it nice and green okay I like that and that's it I think make sure the button is highlighted hit control D a uh, couple more times. We're going to do. Uh, what are we going to do? Button two, we're going to do full screen. Button three, we're going to do exit game. Button one, we'll, we'll just do that as a new game. Uh, rename. New game. Text. New game. Button two. What are we gonna call that one? That one's gonna be full screen. And full screen. Button three. Exit. Rename. Exit. Text. Exit. I'm gonna save this. And I'm going to rename the top one of this. I'm going to rename it to main menu. Let's go with the exit first. Node uh, on pressed connect controls where my script is on exit pressed 
get tree dot quit. It's that simple. Seriously. Next. Uh, full screen. Unpressed. Connect. Control. Full screen. Check this out. O S dot window full screen equals not OS dot window full screen. That's it. Full screen, not full screen. Simple. Cool. New game. Pressed. Connect. Control. I don't really have anything in this particular game that I can do as a new game. So all I'm going to do is a, de a debug print. New game pressed. And then it'll print out that it's working. That's all. Now, one thing else I want to do is... Funk input event. I need a um, I need a variable variable show menu. And that's gonna be a boolean. And we'll start off with true. And I need another function. And we'll just place it right here. Funk. Uh, show menu. If show menu is true. Yeah, it's waiting for me to put something in right there, isn't it? Okay. All right. If event dot uh, action is pressed, that one. UI cancel is escape. Pre-designated escape button. If event is action pressed, show menu equals not show menu. And also run show menu function on ready. We don't have an on ready. Let's make an on ready funk ready. And on funk ready, this just happens when the first time it loads, it's like a run once. And I want it to show menu. New game pressed. I'm going to show menu equals not show menu and then show menu. Oops. If show menu is true, get main menu. Yes, that one dot show if not show menu then main menu dot hide. All right, let's see what we have so far. Hit escape, full screen, new game, hit escape, exit, works.